Hey guys, in this video we're going to draw some pipe. We're going to add some pipe tags to it. We're going to throw up a 3D view. I'm going to lock it and throw some pipe tags on it, but I'm also going to show you guys how to annotate using pipe tags in a floor plan and show you guys also how to create custom pipe tags that say whatever you want. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to lock this view. And we're going to do that because I'm actually going to create these pipe tags in this view. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go up to annotate, go to tag by category, select the pipe, bring it out, and bring it over. Now the first thing you'll see is this crooked leader line and we do not like that. So we're going to fix this type of tag up so that doesn't happen anymore. So we're going to select this leader, we're going to go to edit family, and we're going to uncheck rotate with component, load it back into the project. So let's go ahead and draw the same leader line. Right click, create similar, zoom out. And now you can see everything is working perfectly. I know, I know what you're thinking. Now I just ruined this pipe tag. Well, let's create another one, edit family. So this time we're just going to rotate with component. And instead I'm gonna go to file, save as, family, rename it, options, one, okay save. Now this pipe tag has rotate with component on it so we'll load it into the project and close. Now I'm going to go to the annotate tab, tag by category, and you'll see I'm going to need to change my pipe tag to the one that I just loaded in. So I go to tags, change it to inside pipe size tag, hit OK, and now we'll get rid of the leader and look at that I got my original tag working. So now I have all my tags on the screen so if I need to create another one I just select it right click create similar make sure my leader is checked and I have a perfect working leader tag now if I want to use this tag I right click create similar get rid of my leader and now I'm using these types of tags now guys the main reason we are using real pipe tags here and this is important if we change the size to four inches it will update everywhere okay we're in a floor plan if we change the size of this to three inches it will update everywhere everything's coordinated you are pretty much done but let's go to a floor plan to check out how these pipe tags will work let's zoom in so i'm going to go to tag by category and as you can see my inside pipe tag is working just like it would and like it's supposed to hit escape Another way to get the other tag is to click on a tag you already have in the view. Right click, create similar, select leader. We're going to do the wrong tag this time. And we're just going to change it right here to pipe size tag. And that's the tag I was using before. I'm going to actually change this leader edit type. Instead of the loop, I'm going to make it an arrow, 15 degree. This is my regular pipe size tag that does not rotate with my piping. Create similar here. And as you can see, everything is working perfectly. Now let's tile our views, zoom all, ZA, and let's change this pipe from three inches to eight inches and watch it update. Let's change this pipe from four inches to two inches. Oh wow, two and a half, and watch it update. So the last tip I'm gonna give you guys is we're gonna create one more tag. We're gonna right click, create similar. I'm gonna start the tag right here. We'll move it down and we'll snap it right there. Hit escape. I'm going to go to edit family and we're going to edit this label. We're going to add a suffix space dn. Hit OK. We're going to save this family. Save it as down pipe size tag. Hit options. One. OK. Save. Yes. We will load it into the project. Overwrite the existing. We'll go ahead and select our new down pipe size tag. And there you go, it says down. Let's add a leader line with an arrow, fill 15. Now let's take it one step further, let's click on this, edit family. We'll change this label, and this time we'll do up. Save it to your computer, load it into your project and close. Zoom out, select this guy, change it to my up, move this over. And we'll go ahead and just add a little leader arrowhead. And you can do as many of these types of pipe tags as you need. The reason I like them is because when I can select them, I can quickly do down or up, and I can just change them by the actual family. You can do this many ways, but I just wanted to show this quick way 
to quickly get you up and running using pipe tags in Revit. And guys, these pipe tags also work on the riser diagrams. So if I want to make this an up, I have it right here. So I hope you guys liked this video on simple and efficient pipe tags. If you liked this video and want more, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try to make a video every other day.